Well, I've mined all my life. I had 40 years underground. I was actually coming up here in the winter doing some of their maintenance work. I got hooked in with the county that way, and when the last mine foreman retired, I was offered a job. I decided to take it because it's something that I like. I'm a fifth generation miner. My son will be the sixth. It's wet, damp, and it's anywhere from 48 to 55 degrees, depending on how hot it is up here. This is one of the largest mining sections in Pennsylvania. The Lackawanna Valley here and the Wyoming Valley. It was very hard work, especially in the old days. They worked underground as young as eight years old. The Nipper boys, they actually sat inside what was called an airlock to open the doors to allow the mules and the coal cars to travel through. Mule boys basically led the coal trips with the mules. The miners would go down in the morning, they'd go to their working section or their chamber and they'd fire the coal, blast it, and load it in the cars. Some of it was done by gravity with what they'd call chutes to load it in. In the older days, they'd hand drill the coal to get the holes in to be able to put the dynamite in to blast it. It was all hand work. Most of them were 10 hour shifts, sometimes 12. Most of the mining was originally started by immigrant miners that came over here that had experience from Wales, Ireland, Scotland, Germany, and you had Italian miners. They immigrated to the country and they were the biggest workforce. People need to know where their heritage came from. And some people had relation that worked in the mines that know some about it, and that's their interest was coming to see it. They can't believe how hard their parents, grandparents, whoever worked when they were in the mines. The response from most people is they could never do it. When I think of Northeastern PA, I think of the coal mining industry. Anthracite actually built the Industrial Revolution. Everything was formed around anthracite. There's very little places where the history is actually being kept alive anymore, and this is one of the best ones. But until you actually come here and tour it, you don't understand what it was like. <laughs>